Hi there guys and welcome back to Same Ship Different Day. Today I'm going to be taking you through a full day in the life of a senior second officer on board a cruise ship. We're starting this one at about uh, 4.20 in the morning, having just finished my uh, 12 to 4 watch. Uh, I usually take a bit of time to wind down in the evening so I'll be heading to bed within the next hour or so and I'll be joining you again first thing in the morning and take you through this full day along with me. That sounds good to you, then stay tuned. As always guys, my views and opinions do not reflect those of my employer. I guess we'll get going. It's just after 10.15 a.m. We've had about five hours of sleep, which is about standard for me. Uh, time to get up and start going for my next watch, which will be again 12 to 4, midday to 4. Um, a few things to do this morning before watch, so I better get going. Now, absolutely key piece of equipment for me. These eye drops, as you can see, with the air con and fatigue build up over four months. Very important to have something to clear yourself up. And these things work like magic. Clear eyes if you've not used them before. And this isn't a promoted video, but watch this. Just like that, ready to go. They work their magic, don't they? They look a damn sight better than they did a few minutes ago. So with me ready to go now, uh, lunch doesn't open for another half hour or so. So what I'm going to do, as I do every morning, is call my girlfriend. She's over in Connecticut. There's a 12 hour time difference here, so she's getting ready to go to bed. And I'm just waking up for my day, so we have a quick call, catch up, and then I'll be heading down to lunch. So let's uh, skip to that bit. I've also got a bit of admin work to do before I take the watch as well, um, and I'll show you that as well. Okay, so I just got off the phone with my girlfriend, and it's time to go get some lunch before I take this watch. Uh, so mask on, of course, before leaving the cabin. Let's go. So the officer mess on this ship is deck five aft. I usually take the outdoor route along deck 12, get a bit of fresh air for the first time of the day before obviously going on watch. Fortunately on this ship, we have open bridge wings, so there's still some fresh air to be had once working. But on a lot of ships now, you're stuck inside for the full duration. Uh, anyway, so we'll be skipping down through the salon, deck 12 aft and down to deck five for some lunch. So this is our officer mess. There are three different types of messes on board, staff, crew, and officer. Officer obviously is for the officers, staff is for a mix of different ranks uh, throughout the ship, and crew is for the rest of the ranks on board. Um, at the moment, we're really only using the officer and the crew mess. We've got reduced numbers, of course, um, but it's a way just to get everybody served at the same time without too many people in one place at one time, of course. Social distancing going on here. Obviously, no one else in here at the moment, hence why I just stood up for my place and I can Keep my mask off for a second. It works very well. I end up eating too much every single time. Normally this would be a table service, in fact. We'd order from a menu and then they'd bring it to the table. They usually use the junior waiters or the people that haven't been a waiter in guest areas before and they come in the office mess to practice. So that works quite well. Obviously during the pandemic, that's not practical. So we uh, clear the tables ourselves and obviously just a buffet service, um, which is pretty standard and works very well. Anyway. 
That's lunch done. Now I've got to get up, get the work done as soon as possible. So one of my jobs here on board is actually to help out with the training of the future AB Houndsman or the current AB Houndsman or the deck crew, depending on what's going on. Uh, so one of our guys, actually one of the deck crew, the SGP2s, has just uh, been going through his AB Houndsman training course over the last month or so, which I've been going through with him. He completed his test yesterday, so now I've got to get all the paperwork scans set up, sent off shoreside to the office to get his nav watch rating certificate approved, authorised and sent back to the ship. And then hopefully by the time he gets on his next contract, he's got all the qualifications he needs to become a helmsman on the bridge, including his steering certificate and everything like that. So it's quite an important role and something I don't mind doing at all because it really helps the guys to progress in their career. And it's something I can do uh, for my size to help them with that. So yeah, just some quick photocopying and scanning that I can't do on the bridge and then time to take the watch. Okay then, time to head to work on the bridge. Luckily for me, it's a very short commute, about two steps from my cabin door to the bridge door. So I'll see you afterwards. And welcome to the office. I've just handed over the watch just a few minutes after four now. I've got a bit of paperwork to sort out and then I'll be heading to the gym. So that's me just finished on the bridge then. Uh, it's now actually past five o'clock. A uh, fair bit of admin took a little bit longer than I expected. Anyway, that's done for today. So now I'm not uh, working until midnight tonight. So it's time to get to the gym and get some movement in and then uh, continue with the rest of the day. Okay, gym time. With friend. Shoulder day today, we're quite lucky to have a gym like this with all these facilities available to us and completely empty for our use, which is excellent. So that's the uh, gym done. It's already nearly uh, quarter to seven. So I'm gonna get a quick shower and change, head down for some dinner, and then maybe some table tennis before needing to get another sleep in before starting watch again at midnight. So days go pretty quickly over here. And so time for dinner. Same deal as before down to the officer mess, a little bit more casual tonight. They're not working straight after and uh yeah then we continue with the evening before trying to get some sleep again before the next watch good evening Call of the day before heading back to bed is to play a bit of table tennis out here. I do okay. Tata is the reigning champion there, so not much I can do about that. We have some good games, some good championships. It's a bit of fun before finally heading to bed again before starting watch. <laughs> so I just finished the extracurricular activities, a bit of table tennis there with the boys. It gets quite competitive as you probably saw and uh, certainly hot and sweaty out there. Well, I think I need another shower. It's getting quite late actually, it's probably about 8.30 getting on, something like that. So shower and then a quick couple of hour nap before heading back to work. Uh, maybe after the shower, I'll summarize a bit, talk about what it's like to have these kind of days. Obviously you see it passes quite quickly with things going on and you never have more than eight hours off at any point, not just in a day, but over the four month contract. So uh, it's quite a full on experience if you like. Anyway, uh, let me get ready for bed and we'll chat about it. Okay guys, we're just approaching 9.30 in the evening, time for my second sleep of the day if you like this way you can make up a little bit for the lack of sleep in the morning uh, usually getting around five hours in the morning so i try to get another two or so in the evening that's usually my uh, routine to be honest never really getting above that seven maybe eight hours a day and that's combined over two sleeps 
They say watch keeping isn't that healthy for you, but you know, it's the way it works at sea and it has been like this for many years. I don't mind it too much. I still find the time to do the important things like gym and socialize a little bit uh, as you saw. So uh, it's not easy, never more than eight hours off, like I said, and um, working 12 to four, midnight to four and midday to four every day, rushing through lunch to get up to the bridge in time and then dinner. Um, usually you can take a little bit slower um, not such a bad life though, I can't complain, uh, it allows me to do lots of amazing things normally when we're in operation. However at the moment it's a little different, we have less people on board and obviously we're not going to port or anything, uh, at least not to d go off and enjoy being ashore. Much nicer life when my girlfriend's on board but I can tell you I get even less sleep when she's on board because I'm constantly going to watch her in the shows or we're going out for dinner and things like that. And we usually get up a little earlier in the morning to go get breakfast uh, at the buffet rather than going down to the officer mess. So things like that are a little bit different at the moment. i um, still enjoyed my contract. We're getting towards the end of it now. What do you think? Do you think you could manage a day in the life of the senior second officer and four months of that working day in, day out? And there's pretty much the same routine. Never having a break of more than eight hours over four months or even five months sometimes. It does certainly add up over time. But from what you've seen, can't look too bad can it anyway for the rest of my day it isn't over yet officially we started at 4 or 4 30 ish in the morning and we'll be finishing at that time as well so i'm going to get my nap in then i'll be up again ready on the bridge by midnight to do my four hour watch i'll get back to you in a couple of hours once i've woken up and we'll uh, finish off the day Good evening, good morning again. Always tricky waking up at uh, this time uh, before the second watch. Obviously just a couple of hours of sleep and then waking up before going back on the bridge. So let's get going. The trick. Okay, good to go. Glasses on this evening, I think. Let's get going. Something that I did forget to mention, but is very important that we have here on the bridge is a nice coffee machine. And it's also very important on the 12 to 4 watch that you can make yourself a good coffee or sort of cappuccino type thing in this case. And uh, let's see. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty good, even if I do say so myself. Okay, that's it, full circle. It's just after four o'clock in the morning, having just handed over watch to the first officer who's on four to eight. Um, what do you think? Do you think you could handle a day in the life of a senior second like me or four months doing it every single day? Obviously the trickiest thing really is managing your rest time and uh, making sure you're well rested enough to get on to watch and uh, take over 
and be fully aware of the situation, of course. Um, normally, I'd say that I'd probably be doing more, obviously going ashore if possible, uh, if it was normal times. And like I said, my girlfriend's on board, we'd be going for dinner and stuff in the evenings as well and making more an event of that. Uh, but I've been able to enjoy myself a little bit and uh, stay fit and healthy in the gym, which is important, of course. And the food's been great as well whilst I've been on board, so that's helped as well. Anyway, that's a day in the life of me at the moment. Uh, more bridge stuff to come in the future, so don't worry about that. You will see more details. Uh, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you do like what I'm doing and like what you saw today and you haven't already, please do subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what you think and how you would manage in this kind of lifestyle or if you wouldn't manage at all, who knows. Some beautiful views, lots of perks to the job, of course, uh, but something maybe you didn't think about, the amount of rest and how we have to plan out our day each day. Anyway, do like, subscribe, and uh, I guess I'll see you on the next one, guys. Stay safe and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Thanks for sticking with me right through to the end there, guys. I hope you enjoy this beautiful sunset at sea. Lots more content to come, so please do stay in touch keep watching subscribe if you haven't already and leave a thumbs up on this one if you enjoyed it in the meantime stay safe take care of yourselves and i'll see you very soon for the next one mm.